So, um, a brief introduction of Com about Comau. Comau is a, an industrial automation provider. We provide both robots, so we provide products, but actually our main business is uh, integration, so supplying full systems for, for automation, basically. Our main uh, customers are in the automotive sector, so I think the references that were made earlier by both Fabio and Dominique, uh, you will see them recalled in my presentation here. So uh, our, our vision is that, the, as you read there, the, the future for the production automation is led by lean and collaborative sustainable solutions and products. So sustainability is certainly one of the, the, the trends that are going in there. Uh, a brief look at what uh, the, the market and how the market is, is moving. This again, I think, uh, recalls uh, what uh, Fabio was saying uh, earlier. Um, we are seeing, now we're not in uh, mass customization, uh, sorry, mass production anymore. We've gone through mass customization and we're now going into personalized production. So production that can be tailored to the single user. <laughs> this obviously means that there needs to be new manufacturing approaches to be able to, set, to satisfy these uh, market requirements. Um, the technological evolution with Industry 4.0 is uh, enabling us to have smarter, more flexible and interconnected machines. Uh, these uh, are, the intent here is mainly to maximize efficiency and effectiveness of uh, what we are doing with these machines and, and the real focus, as, as we believe in Kumau, is to maximize efficiency and effectiveness of people and machines. So people will continue to be the center of uh, uh, automation and will not disappear as my colleagues were saying earlier. Uh, and, and we interpret this uh, in, in Kumau as right-sizing automation. So we're not anymore into full uh, automation of robotics, putting robots everywhere. This will not, will not work, will not work uh, for what the market demands are currently and will not work for society. So the right balance here is right-sizing the automation and the correct balance between uh, humans and machines, also in production environments. Now going back to what uh, Komau does best in the business, what you see here is one of the solutions that have uh, been a success for Komau over the past uh, decade. Uh, this is a high-density robot station, and here I will go a bit more in practical terms uh, compared to, <laughs> to, to what Fabio and Dominic were saying, and, and trying to show you what, how in Kama we are using robotics and AI today, and what we're working on today. So this is, uh, this is a solution that has been a success for Kamau. Uh, in particular, what you see in this picture is a framing station for a vehicle. Here is where you create the geometry of the vehicles that we drive on the street, so the exact shape and size and quality of the body in white, where we put together the two body sides and, and the underbody of the vehicle. So it's the, the heart of a manufacturing line for automotive. And, and the, the Kumau solution, as you see, is, uh, is full of robots here. We are able to stack into this single station up to 18 robots. This is, again, to be able to perform that uh, taking uh, out a vehicle of our manufacturing line, one vehicle every 60 seconds, as Dominique was, was saying earlier. Uh, so with this uh, uh, density of robots in a robot cell, we are able to achieve what was this uh, customer requirement. Obviously, you can imagine how uh, difficult it will be and complex to program 18 robots that concurrently work into such a tight space. So we, we are currently working on, on this case study. Um, 
which is what we believe we can do today with application of AI to robotics and, and approaching the challenges that you see here on this slide. So uh, in the different phases of development, we see here that the first two phases are related to what Komau does as, as a business and the third phase is what our, our customers actually do. So it's the production part of uh, automotive. Um, let's go briefly through the, the challenges that we have in each one of these phases. So in, in the order acquisition phase, Komau has a challenge of actually right-sizing the offer, right? So we want to be competitive uh, on the market, uh, but we cannot uh, um, offer less content that, than what we will actually need to perform the task that our uh, customers are expecting. And, and this is always a challenge. Um, the intent of this case study and using AI is to be able to define the optimal number of robots that are needed to perform a certain task. Going on to the project execution, here challenges are, are different. Here we are already interacting with our customers. Uh, we do what is called offline programming. So we start programming the robots in a virtual environment and defining the paths that the robots will need to take to perform their, their, their task. Uh, this phase is, is actually an exchange of information, constantly a change of information with, with our customers that are actually still developing the vehicles due to customer requirements from their customer requirements and market requirements. And so there it's, it's full of changes and back and forth with the customer. And obviously you can imagine again, trying to program 18 robots performing a certain task in, in such a tight space. And then uh, every month or so we are e uh, expecting to introduce changes which impact on the paths on, of these robots. And then, last but not least, when we finally finish this virtual cell to perform a task, we are, we are then going in commissioning and moving to the actual plant. And, and obviously, the real world is always slightly different from, uh, from a virtual world. Uh, and there, we again need to touch up all the robot programs to actually adapt uh, what we have studied in the virtual world to a real world. And our aim here is to use uh, and exploit AI to be able to um, automatically generate and update these robot paths. Something that today we are needing uh, robot programmers, offline programmers and robot programmers on site that spend time in, in doing this, we, will, we are aiming at being able to do this through uh, an external uh, software algorithms, exploiting AI that can, will be able, that will make it possible to automatically generate and update these paths. And then this, this, uh, these advantages are actually uh, We'll, we'll, we'll be actually be able to exploit these advantages uh, through our customers as well. And then, and here again, we're moving more to servitization of, of what Komau does. So today we would, we would stop at supplying the, the system, the manufacturing system. Uh, in, in the future phase, we will be able, through what we will be learning in the initial phases of the of our designing, of the project engineering, uh, to deliver to the customer the same approach, the same uh, softwares, to solve problems that they have during the actual production of vehicles. Uh, here you can see a couple of the challenges, like product variation and product defects. Uh, again, we, we, we are in the real world, so certain components can arrive on the vehicle that are slightly different shape or in a slightly different position compared to the ideal position in which they should be in. And with the sensors and, and potentially vision used uh, in these uh, stations, automatic stations, the robots will be able to adapt to what the actual situation on that vehicle is. 
Uh, another interesting example is breakdowns. Uh, as what we currently do is if you have a robot breakdown somewhere on the line, you would tend to redistribute the work that that robot is not being able to perform anymore on, on the other robots still working on the line. Now this obviously currently means that you would need an operator to go on the line and understand what you can actually transfer to which robot. Now if you, you would have a, a system overviewing the whole station or potentially the whole line then the, the system could suggest to operators potential <coughs> solutions and then operators would just put them put them in place. So um, again uh, picking back on, on what Fabio was saying earlier I think uh, AI is not a matter of uh, uh, making a single robot work robot in this case but any machine really, but uh, putting together uh, a multitude of operations and this is the real potential behind uh, a systematic view and exploiting what is uh, the, the, um, the current capabilities of computational power that, that we have today. Uh, hopefully, I've Thank been you. able you, to you, you, you that I changed completely my view uh, about Italian speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>